Hey folks, how's it going? Robert here. People like to use Altoid tins. I'm kind of a pellet tin fan myself. Um, use uh, pellet gun tins for different things. This one is actually a stove. This one here is a primitive fire kit. This one's been in my pack, it's a little bit rusted. So it's got my Fresno lens in it, some uh, cotton for a char cloth, um, my metal thing for making fire on when I'm doing my uh, primitive fires like bow drills and stuff. This here one is, of course, got tape on it. This one is my uh, snare package kit, fishing snare, and it's got a whole bunch of fishing line in it, snares. Uh, a bunch of hooks and stuff. I uh, might even have a sewing kit in there. Some lures. Let's get all kinds of good stuff. Some swivels, sinkers, more snares. So that's a good one too. And they're stackable on one another. When you use them, you can snap stack them up and put them inside your cook kits or anything. This one here is a pretty interesting use for one. <laughs> Holds pellets. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm funny. And of course this one is just another variation of a uh, primitive fire kit. Like a jute in there and cotton and a whole bunch of other stuff. So just a fire making kit. So that's some different uses of my uh Pelican tins. They're just, uh, I think they're 250 counts. Yeah. 22 caliber. There's 175 in there. I think most of them are 250. This one's a 250 tin. 250 to 177, I do believe. Yeah, 250 count. So, again, like I say, they're stackable. So they don't take up too much room in your pack. You can set them right inside your cook kit and carry like four or five of them if you want to. It keeps all your stuff separated and situated. So, like I say again, pellet gun tins work pretty good. That one's got a hole in the top. This one's actually got a hole in the side. Either way works good though. You could also put a first aid kit. My first aid kit is actually, I used an Altoids tin, but it's not quite, not quite the same shape. Again, pellet gun tins work excellent. Here, 